I am Burak from BMW and I'm currently IT product owner for 3D, VR and AR at BMW. I'm working now for seven years at BMW. I'm computer scientist and now my focus is really bringing 3D and VR AR technologies to everyone at BMW. We started using Unreal Engine at BMW six years ago and it was the time where the first VR headsets uh, came to the market and we had the idea of using VR headsets in our development phase, in the early phase to experience our future cars and also give the opportunity to our engineers, decision makers to experience the car functionality, having a ride and it was of course not just a thing about hardware, having the VR headset uh, is not enough. We also needed the appropriate software application for that. We already had rendering application at BMW, but the issue was that they really did not support VR. So we were looking for a solution on the market and the main usage for VR those times was the gaming industry. So it was clear for us to look there. And since the visual quality is one of the most important parts for our first use case, uh, we decided to use Unreal Engine. The success of our first project was so high that the usage of Unreal Engine was spread across BMW really quite quick. So we started to use Unreal Engine also for other departments like the factory planning, but also later in the phase for a dealer configurator for presenting the new cars so the end customer can go to the dealer and configure its personalized BMW inside VR using Unreal Engine. Here is a video for you how BMW uses Unreal Engine for remote collaboration. Enjoy it. So I use Unreal Engine in my work for visualization things. We can show everyone who's involved different solutions for problems. Then everyone is able to imagine what will happen in the real car. We were able to show the designers what we did and um, they had the same quality like before in the meetings. They were able to move into the car and show me which perspective they, they meant if they had something like they, they didn't like. That was really cool. We are having a very big structural changes in our plants. We are implementing the new model E4 with 2D tools like on the paper or PDF. We were forgetting, for example, a scanner or a screwdriver. We have the possibility now really to build up exactly everything, how it's going to be. It's giving us the opportunity to be a communication tool. For example, Teams meetings, um, I can open my project and together with the process plan and the logistic planner, we can try out new uh, alternatives and we can optimize the planning status in the early phase. This is saving us uh, time and costs also. We have less customers in our showrooms. Yeah, that's why it's very important to have another way to show our customers the different cars, different options, different colors. EVE is an um, emotional virtual experience. We use it all time, every day, to show our, our customers um, our stock cars, what the options, or calculate or configure a new car. And after that, I can show my customers here also in the screen, or I can send the link via mail with the offer to my customers at home. It's easier for my customer to select the right car. Half hour or one hour and we have a finished configuration with the customers. My customer is happy, I'm happy, yeah. For me as a software developer there's no barrier between me and the business partners. When it comes down to implement the software, what we use to you know, enable remote work, most people don't even know it's a game engine behind everything. The great thing about using the Unreal Engine is that it, it provides a perfect base that has everything you need to implement the perfect solution for any need. Work habits are changing. They can leverage the fact that Unreal Engine is a connecting technology that allows people to collaborate. So whether you're in a dealership, whether you're at home, whether you're interacting with a customer, by running off the same Unreal Engine platform, you can really do awesome things.
Isn't it great how BMW benefits from the usage of Unreal Engine for collaborative work? But the question is, what's the next level? And the next level could look like that it's not just used for BMW employees, but also extended for our suppliers, that we have a common collaborative environment where we can work together interactively. Thank you very much for participating and enjoy the rest of this event. Thank you.